Hi, good morning. Welcome to today's devotional. Um, you know, I just wanted to preface it with this. One summer, that my three girls and I, we used to frequent, we, well, we would go to the pool once in a while, but this one summer we went a lot. And, and this was before, before they learned how to swim. And I would put floaties on their arms and, and they would go down the stairs in the pool and, and together, right? And, um, and it took time for them to trust the floaties to keep them above the water. Um, some took longer than others to trust it. And like I said, that summer we went often, so it became a routine. You get your floaties on, you walk down the stairs, and you stay in the shallow side. It was all the time, that's what we did. So after a while, they got the boldness to jump off the stairs. Not thankfully, it wasn't off the side, but off the stairs, they would jump into the pool. With and I was like, "Whoa! All right, you trust it. You, you got that boldness happening." That brings us to our, our, our title today. It's called boldness. So our verse for today is Proverbs 28:1, and it reads, "The wicked run away when no one is chasing them, but the godly are as bold as lions." So, but the godly are as bold as lions. Bold because they're unfazed in their circumstances. Bold because their conscience, conscience is at rest. Bold because they know that God is on their side and whatever happens, they're safe in His loving arms, right? How do they know God is on their side? Because they don't know of Him, they know Him. They read and believe His Word. They pray and, and I like to say talk to Him and await His response. They've experienced Him in some way. Maybe His presence, maybe His provision, or His covering, or His blessings. They remember His promises. Here's, here's some found in um, Psalm 91, 15 to 16. And, and it reads, because he loves me, I will deliver him. Because he knows my name, I will protect him. When he calls out to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Now Jesus came to die and redeem us of our sins and left so that we could receive the Holy Spirit. In Acts 2, we read uh, where at Pentecost, the Holy Spirit is received, filling those that, that are in the upper room. Now, pre previously, you know, Peter had denied Jesus three times, right? So he's kind of like in the shed, no, I don't know him, that kind of thing, right? But he, he was in that room and he was filled with the Holy Spirit and he spoke to a crowd, thousands of people. And, and it says that he spoke about Jesus and, and, and th uh, over 3,000 were saved and added to the church that day. So among other things, the Holy Spirit brings boldness. By the Holy Spirit and the promises in the Word of God, we can stand with strength in the face of difficulties. We can stand with strength in the face of worries. We could stand with strength in the face of troubles. And we could stand with strength in the face of struggles. As I mentioned before, some of my kids needed more time than others to be bold and, and confident in the safety of their floaties. Um, practicing over and over again gave them that confidence, that boldness. Now, some of us may need to practice more and more trusting the Lord has our back. Some may take longer than others, and that's okay. That's okay. What's important is that we get to the place of boldness in the confidence we have in the Lord because we know Him. That's how we, we get that boldness and being filled by the Holy Spirit, of course, but knowing who He is and, know, and knowing Him personally, that'll get us that boldness. Let's pray. Dear God, I thank you, Lord. I thank you for your love. I thank you for, for who you are, Lord. I thank you that the Holy Spirit is, is here with us, Lord God, to, to give us that boldness, Lord God. I thank you. I thank you for all you've done and continue to do to be with us, to, to guide us to, to you, to spend eternity with you, Lord God. I pray, Lord, that you, that you be with those who are watching and the families that they represent, Lord. I pray that we be filled with the Spirit to have that boldness to speak your word and share you with others, Lord God, to walk in that confidence that, that, that you have our back, Lord, to walk and, and, and not 
not be embarrassed, not be, you know, shy, meek to share you, Lord, because you did something awesome that, that people will only know if we share who you are and what you've done and, 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 and how much you love us and how there's an eternity and you want us to be there with you and just to be able to do all that, Lord God. I pray that we, we all grab hold of that uh, boldness that is found through you. I pray for those who are watching, Lord God, I pray that, that you provide any need that they may have um, and, and the families that they represent, Lord God. I pray that you keep us safe, Lord God. I pray that um, we have an awesome week in you and that there's something awesome that we can share that you to give you the honor and the glory, Lord God. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen. Hi, thanks for watching today's devotional. Tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow we have our Kingdom Pantry, our free food Friday. And um, that begins at 10 a.m. It goes till noon. If you'd like to help, if you, we, we'd love volunteers. We'd love to see you here. That would be any time. Any time you can give between 8.30 and noon would be greatly appreciated. Hope to see you here. God bless.